what's up guys, Sam Wild here. Today we've got a bit of a crazy lesson, all right, because this song is quite tricky. There's lots of parts to it. I am gonna show you some really easy ways of playing it, okay? There's a huge play along for the whole song at the end of this video, all right? So if you wanna play along with me for the whole piece, after you've learned all the different parts, you can do, all right? Whether you've learned the beginner parts, advanced parts, right? So I'm gonna show you how to play more of the rhythm section, but at the end, I'm also even gonna show you how to play I'll show you that little riff at the end, all right? But let's just try and dive into the intro, okay? So the introduction kind of fades in, doesn't it? Okay, you actually have that riff. And then... To be long and long in New York City. And then we have this main verse part. Okay, so let's just start with the beginner version of this. All right, you don't have to do this picky part. Okay, it's, that's quite hard to play for beginners. So we can just play chord, 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 chord. All right, so let's start with this basic chord part, right? It's good to learn the chords anyway. The first chord we have is A major, all right? So pause the video, look at that if you need to, all right? Then we push into that E major chord, all right? Again, look at the diagram, pause if you need to practice this shape. And then, instead of D major for this whole song, we're gonna play more of a D sus two, all right? Okay, and then for the second half, very similar, but we're gonna do F sharp minor, E, D sus two. Now F sharp minor is very tricky to get that bass note on the E string with your thumb. It's, it's quite a stretch, especially if you wanna get the nice open strings. So if you're really struggling to do all of it, just pick one or the other. You can either not bother with the bass note and then bring that wrist forward and then you can play the three notes and you get open B and E as well. Which sounds really nice. Or you can block, you bring the thumb over and then you might find that you block the B and the E string. Which makes it sound a bit more bassy. Now in terms of where these chords come in, let's just practice this, okay? Because we're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. So we kind of, on the three and, that's where we hit our second chord every time. A, E, D, D. So it's push, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, okay? So if you can play this, then you can play pretty much the whole song, guys. This is the very basic bare bones of it, right? It works for the verse. To be young and in love in New York City. Do not know where I am, but still know that I'm good along And it also works for the chorus You hear that? It works for the whole song Stay a while, stay a while, stay here with me Stay a while, stay a while home Okay, the whole thing, it works, but we're gonna try and get a bit more advanced than this, all right. The next thing I wanna point out to you guys is the fact that a lot of this song is very soft, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the palm of our hand, we're gonna rest it on the strings as we're strumming. It's just kinda of pushing into the strings. Now listen, instead of that, we're gonna have, it's soft, okay? You might need to grip the pick a little bit more firmly, and kind of really push through the strings. Okay, make sure you're not flattening too hard there either. Okay, it should just be, you're just resting the hand on the strings, firm grip on the pick, okay. And then we get this softer sound, all right. And that kind of works a lot better for the verses, okay. So when we have the, to be drunk and alive in New York City, do not know where I am, just don't know that I'm good as long as you're here with me. Can you hear how that kind of fits a little bit better than going? To be drunk and in love. 
Okay, you can do either, but okay, this is taking it to the next step. All right, now before we get to this advanced, before we get to that, let's just jump into the chorus. Okay, so this is the part where we have the riff. Okay, the chords are going to be full for this part. We're going to have a rhythm down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. So when you're practicing this, and I'll break it down in a second here. When you practice this, try and hear the riff in your mind. So. Okay, because this is the part we're playing now, all right? So I have skipped ahead. Like I say, we'll, we'll cover the, the hard part of the verse in a second here. Okay, so the rhythm goes down, down, up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay, now you need to make sure that you change chords on that third down in this rhythm. So, A, 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 E, E, D. Same thing for the second half, F sharp. Okay, really think about this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So we're still changing chord on the three and, right? That's where that. That's why I've put the chord change on that down, okay? Because it's it always changes in the same place. So that's the bare bones of this song, guys. We've got the verse part and the chorus part. Okay, so for those of you that are in a rush and just want to have the easy stuff, cool, skip to the play along at the end of this video and try and kind of play along with the song, learn the structure. For those of you that want the advanced version, okay, we're going to have to try and include this riff in the verse, okay, this is going to be what we're, we need to work on now. So this is the part that now the tricky thing about this riff is we're going to try and play the chords whilst we're playing the riff at the same time okay so this is quite tricky it's really challenging if you can't do it just stick to the basic strum 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 okay you don't have to do this riff but for those of you that want to try it um, before we add the chords to the riff we're going to try and play we're going to have to learn this riff almost the way we would learn a phone number just break it into little sections and then suddenly you can remember it right so we start with down 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 and then we're going to have down up down up down up okay so three downs then three down ups that's how i remember the first bit down 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 up down up down up like that. Bum 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 bugga bugga bugga. Down 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 up down up down up. Okay, also bear in mind my palm again is against the string so it's soft. I'm gripping the pick quite firmly, right? So really just try and get this first bit down. Down 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 up down up down up. Down 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 up down up down up. Okay, now all we have to do is add up down up onto the end of this. So listen. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, try and do it with me. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Wait, two, three, and again. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. The second time round, you'll notice I go bah, 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 nah. The last four notes there are going to be fret one on the G string, first finger. Up, up, down, up. So we're going fret one with the up, up, down, up. Okay, so it sounds like this, just play the second half. Sounds like this: down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Alright, so all together, try and play along with me, we'll do it a few times. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up,
Alright, really tricky, right? So just work on this. This is what happens in the verse part, okay? Uh, you can play up here as well, right? But down here we can add chords now. Okay, so now we're going to try and layer up the chords with the riff by playing A, E, D, then F sharp, E, D. Now don't get too overwhelmed by this because we only have to kind of hit the whole chord once per chord and then focus on that G string riff, right? So for example, A, D, 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 E, D. So you'll notice my pick has to kind of swoop up for just that chord hit and then I'm back to the riff. Swoop up, riff, swoop up, riff. If you're looking for the next big challenge, then sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to my backing tracks and all of my lessons. I teach you improvisation, soloing, advanced chords, theory and techniques. All right, enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So the next step is making sure we play the right chord voicings just to make this riff easier. So the first one's going to be... A. So look at the tab, we have open A, finger 2 is actually going to be on the D string, 2nd fret, finger 3 is going to be on the G string, 2nd fret, for, for this A chord. Okay, then for E, we're going to play 4 strings instead of 3, okay, but now the first finger has come down to the A string, fret 2, A2 there. So we get this sort of E sus 4 shape. Okay, then for the last shape we're going to play D, so really you only want to play the D string and the G string, maybe the B string. Okay, so now finger 2 has shifted down to where we were before, 2nd fret on the G string, and 3rd finger just as a safety precaution is on the B string, fret 3. And that allows us to do the riff that we've just practiced the way we've practiced it. So just practice going A. D. Let's make sure you get that right first. A, D, D. And again we have A, E, D. So you're going to have to pick from the A string, E string, D string. You might have to look at the pick. A string, E string, D string. Okay, always going back to the riff. Now, if you look carefully at the tab, we have to kind of adjust the chord in a strange place. So it's better to do this slowly. So we're going to actually adjust from here. A, E, A, E, D. And again, A, E, D. Then the second time round, we're going to play our F sharp minor shape, okay? Making sure that you've got this note here still on the G string. Uh, personally, for the, e major, for the E shape, it's hard to know what to go to. You can kind of jump across. You could, what I do is I just put my first finger up and bar for that E sus shape, just so it's easy to come out of the F sharp minor shape. All my first finger, and then I just move down to the D shape that we had before. Okay, so A, E, D, F sharp, E, D, and again, A, E, D, F sharp, E, D. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you. Okay, so guys, this is really hard. If you can't do this, if you're struggling, even after you've practiced it for ages, don't worry, don't stress about it. Like I said, you can just play A, E, D, and then F sharp. E, D. Okay, you don't have to include this. 
I've, I've tried to explain it as well as I can. To be honest, because I'm more advanced, I've been playing for years, I find it easier to do this riff and play the chords at the same time, okay? There's just so many innate skills that are just up in here from playing for years, okay? So if you can't do it, don't stress about it. So let's just try and have a little go at playing this together in time, all right, after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And it goes round. Now in the first verse, watch out because the riff kind of ends slightly early. So until the hours talking. It goes down, 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 up. Okay, on one on that last D chord, it ends early. Dun 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 dun. Down, 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 up. All right. So just watch out for that. I just want to point that out to you guys so it just cuts off early, right? Now for the chorus, it ends even sooner, all right? We just play the D once. So instead of going bum, dun, dun, diga, we just go D like that, just one D. So let me just demonstrate. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you. I knew from the first time I stay for the long time Cause I like me better when then D I like me better when I'm with you no, 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 no. Makes sense? So we just hit that D once And if you want to you can go fist the guitar then Tap with your knuckles or your nails to come into the chorus so I like me better when I'm with you oh, oh, no, no, no. So again I like me better when I'm with you It's coming out of F sharp I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you oh, oh, no, no, no. Into the riff. So before you get to the play along part of this video, some of you might want to learn the If you don't skip ahead to the play along, if you do, have a look at the tab, alright? We have this So have a good look at this tab guys, just try and kind of play along to it before you even move, so just pause the video and just play through it a little bit, even if you get the rhythm wrong, okay? So we're gonna start with this So we're gonna play down, up, down, up All right, so first fingers on the D string, 7th fret, third fingers on the G string, ninth fret Just start with this to try and add that on now. Like that, okay? Second half of the riff, we start the same. That bit's the same. But to finish, we have this. Okay, if you find it too hard, just go Just do that, it's fine Okay, so get your third finger, put it on the D string, 11th fret Right before the double dots Now what I do is I pick Slide up one, slide back one, really fast And then I pull off and I have my first finger in place, pushed in on fret 9, like this. So just work on that. Okay, as soon as you do that, you just slide down another two frets. Yeah. Alright, and then you try and put the whole riff together. Ok, 
Okay, so bear in mind once you've done that part, you still have the Okay, just that little phrase repeats a few times too. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that those of you that were beginners still managed to play the easier version and those of you that were advanced had a good old challenge trying to play the harder version. Alright, please subscribe, hit that notification bell icon and I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks.